What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This video is actually a Paladins video, and honestly, when I first heard about Paladins, it was along with Battleborn and Overwatch. Battleborn and Overwatch were like the big two, and then I, I heard about like Paladins and like Paragon, and they were like sort of like swept under the rug. I was just like, well, let me, let me take a quick look at these. Eh, I don't think I'm really going to like them. Well, let's move on. Let's focus on Battleborn and Overwatch and stuff like that. Figure out which one of these two I want to play. And yeah, so Paladins for me kind of got like swept under the rug. Never thought I'd ever try it play it, make video game, not videos, make video. Never thought I'd try it, play it, make videos on it. Never thought any of that would ever happen. And it's funny how things work out. I'm making a video of it right now. And it's sort of like a sort of like a first impressions video for me, I guess you could say that. But here's a thing where it, when it comes to like hero focused games when it comes to me. I'm pretty sure this is a this is something anyone can really relate to. Like for me, I I see like one or two characters from the game and I get interested in them and I'm like okay these characters look cool let me see what they do and then I see what they do and it's like oh I'd love to play as that character then I end up trying the game playing them liking the game playing more characters liking more characters like for example like Battleborn I saw Miko and I saw like a Randy and I saw like later on Deandy and I was like oh these characters look cool and I played them and I liked them and I kept playing more characters and I end up liking practically every character in the game there's always that one character that I can't stand, like Marquise, and then with Overwatch, I saw Tracer, Tracer looked really cool, and then later on I saw D.Va, and even though to this day I don't play a whole ton of Tracer, I do play a ton of D.Va, so yeah, just characters help to get me into like the hero shooters, I'm pretty sure that's the same thing with anyone, and for Paladins, I never really saw a character I liked all too much, I never really paid attention to many of the characters anyway, but apparently... Uh, recently, they added a character to the game called Ying, and Ying is super adorable and super unique. And apparently, she's been with the game for a while, but hasn't been added until now. At least that's my understanding of it. Could be wrong. And I saw Ying, I was like, okay, what does Ying do? Okay, Ying does some pretty cool things. Ying, you can see her in the footage right now, and this is against bots, by the way. I'm sorry about that. Didn't want to go into like a real game and get like creamed because I don't know what any of the characters do. I don't know any of the maps. I I'm not used to keyboard and mouse anymore. I haven't played PC in a long time, as far as like a first-person like shooter type thing goes. Haven't done that in a long time and really stick into console and like thumbsticks and whatnot. So got to get used to it. It already feels easier to aim. I just got to get used to it being a keyboard and mouse and all. So you know, there's a lot of stuff to learn. And I want to do it in like bot matches, so I don't like wear the team down. I don't want to be that team detriment because I don't know anything, you know. So yeah, because I haven't followed this game at all. It's not like leading up to Battleborn and Overwatch where I followed the game a lot so I knew what to do when I got into the game. Paladin's not like that, so please excuse the bot games, hope you don't mind. But yeah, so Ying, what she does, she's super unique. She is a support character, and she heals herself and her allies with illusions. She pops illusions of herself, and she can pop, I believe, two at a time, and the cooldown on them is pretty quick, it's like four seconds, and there's like this card and stuff. I'll get into the cards later, but there's this like card you can have that will decrease the cooldown even further, so I think that's why it's 4 seconds, but yeah. They heal, they're like little heal stations, she could also use them to like teleport, like she could teleport back into one and it breaks the illusion. So like let's say like there's this character that he throws like a like a hook chain at me, he pulls me in and he tries to shock in me, sounds familiar right, I'll get into that in a second too. Um, he could pull me in, then I could, you know, I could use that ability, it's called like Dimensional Link, I think, and it'll pull me, it'll teleport me back into the illusion so I escape being like murdered by this giant tank turtle dude with a shotgun and whatnot. I think his name is Makoa, but yeah. But yeah, so the abilities look cool and her primary attack is like this this mirror and it fires like a burst of like these blasts. And if you land every like I guess blast in the burst, it does like bonus damage. And that's really cool. I don't know. So far, I'm really liking her. I've only played like a few bot games and stuff like that, but again, I wanna I wanna learn her. I wanna learn the maps so I can learn like the best possible placements for these illusions and whatnot, and just really get around to like mastering the character. And once I master her, then I could feel safe about branching out to other characters because by that point, I would know what they do, or I'd have like common knowledge of what they do, like basic skills and ultimates and stuff like that. Yada yada yada. And they do yell out their ultimates like in Overwatch and. Speaking of Overwatch, this game does have some incredibly striking similarities to Overwatch, and uh, they, they make a point to say that they did not 
copy Overwatch and Overwatchly copy then don't really think that's the case since Overwatch was revealed first and out first and what it and whatnot but there are a few characters that are crazy crazy similar like for example there was this turtle guy I was talking about with the hook and the, the shotgun and he's big he's a big turtle named Makoa I think and he even walks the same way as Roadhog the walk animation is basically exactly the same it's a blatant copy. He, he does do other stuff, like he can protect his team. He like turtles up and makes like a shield and he spins around and stuff like that. And his ultimate's a ton different. It's like a melee ultimate. So he does have his differences, but for the most part, he is so, so very like Roadhog. To the point where it feels like a ripoff. There's also a dwarf that builds a turret. Now, engineers that build turrets are not like a new thing they were done before like torbjorn from overwatch and they'll be done long after but you know making a dwarf that builds a turret i mean it, it sort of feels like a little bit of ripoff sort of so you know there's stuff like that there's also characters that people say are ripoffs but i can't really call them ripoffs like there's this uh this rodent looking guy looks like Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank with a grenade launcher. People call him Junkrat. He's like nothing like Junkrat besides the fact that he has a grenade launcher. There's this like dragon looking guy who flies and fires rockets. And people say it's a fair ripoff. Characters that fly and fire rockets have been done so many times before that you can't really call that a ripoff either. There's your generic soldier character. People say it's a soldier 76 ripoff. Come on. A generic soldier character has been done so many times so many times so that that's not fair either but th there are like the the two or three that are blatant ripoffs especially if the walking animation is the same you, that that's a blatant ripoff but i hope they don't continue to do that um they do have some pretty unique characters too uh, like ying and that really like draws me in i, I still gotta learn what they all do of course but yeah so yeah, that's where the similarity similarities to like Overwatch are. Of course, the game has plenty of uniqueness. It also draws inspiration from like other things. Like, it feels like Overwatch. It has a payload mode, but the characters have like a lot more health, and uh, the time to kill sort of feels a little bit the same, even though they have way more health. It's just like the damage that scales properly to it. There's also this like thing like in League where you buy uh, items during the game. Like you get coins and buy items during the game and stuff like that. So, it's just like, in like the whole hero like genre of game, there is of course going to be uh, similarities and stuff like that, inspiration drawn and whatnot. There's also these like card loadouts, and like you pick cards into a loadout, you have like five or six I think. I haven't even read the ones that I have for like the basic Ying loadout, I just remember like one or two of them. And the, like, bonuses you get and whatnot. I think you get more through, like, loot chests and stuff. You get on level up and whatnot. You can also buy them with, like, coins or, like, of course, the paid currency and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know everything. I really don't know everything. I've only played... I just started today. I've only played a few games and stuff. Uh, still trying to, of course, learn all I can. And I'll get to that. And I might even do YouTube content on this game just because I really like hero shooters and if I'm playing the game a lot might as well do content on it right that makes that makes sense especially since I've been kind of dry with my content but <laughs> yeah hopefully I could fix that at some point soon sorry but yeah so hopefully expect some paladins content coming out as I learn the game more uh, do any of you play paladins or any of you interested in paladins would you be interested in paladins content or whatnot uh, let me know in like the comments below like what characters maybe you play what characters you recommend maybe what just what characters you've heard of just like your thoughts in general and yeah so that's that's pretty much it I'm pretty sure I've said all I have to say as far as like first impressions go more videos should hopefully come out in the future again as I learn more so yeah I don't want to make this video drag on any longer than it really has to so yeah, I want to thank you all for watching, I very much appreciate it, and I'm going to see you guys later. Bye!